But I'm telling you, my God won't allow that. And then, and then, and then, we have my beautiful mother. She, she, she likes to say, well, you don't need me before I need you, and I don't need this. So, <laughs> and then my, my, my beautiful wife, my beautiful wife, she's different, but she's alike because she don't let everybody know that you got her messed up. Man, I can't believe they asked me to do this. <laughs> Is our very own sister. Woo! I don't know if you ever had a conversation with Sister Owens where you asked her for something and she was not in the position to do what you asked her to do, because this is what she's gonna say. Okay, so let me stop you right now. Exactly. <laughs> I love you with the love of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. But that's just not gonna work. <laughs> and I'm not gonna, we've already had the conversation that needs to be had. <laughs> That's not going to work. Now, I, I, I'm not going to be rude to you. I'm not going to be disrespectful to you. We can continue the conversation, but as we continue this conversation, just know this ain't going to work for me. Sister Owens will sit there and have you think, I'm like, did I ask her? I only asked her to take me off the street. Sister Owens will have you rethinking every last decision you've ever made. Meaning people will always 
always wants you to be the old you. Yes, Lord. Here's the thing. That's not going to work for me. Yeah. Right. Because, because, because if I am in Christ and I am a new creature, that means that old things are passed away, all things being new. Because you knew me last year, you don't know me today. Right. The, the expectations that you had for me a year ago, that just ain't going to work for me. Because he restores my soul. That's not going to work for me. But here's the thing. He leads me He leads me down the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Mm -hmm. 1 Samuel 12 and 22. The Lord will not abandon his people because of his great name. And because he has determined to make you his own people. What you need to realize is when you enter into this faith walk, you are no longer your own. Yeah. You don't belong to yourself anymore. Right. So when, when, when I, I love that term, that, that term, uh, uh, I'm grown and I can do what I want. <laughs> I, I, uh, uh, that's not going to work for me. Because I understand that, yes, I am grown. Yes, I am able to make my own decisions. But because my shepherd is standing right here and he is covering over me, he's watching wow. over me, he's guarding me, he's protecting me, he's feeding me, that's just not going to work for me. Well. Because of his great name. Then, this is my favorite. It says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me because of his name's sake. 2 Timothy uh, chapter 1, verse 7, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, but of love, and of sound mind. Sister Tidmore, I, I, I understand that you were just texting me and giving me my assignment of, of what you required of me. Amen? But, but the, the problem is, most of us nowadays, especially our babies, are operating in a spirit of fear. Yeah. We are afraid to step in and tap into who we are and whose we are because of fear. Society tells us, I can't believe you still believe in God. There's so much science to prove that he doesn't exist. But just as there is, there's just as much to prove that he does. Yeah. That I will fear no evil. Our babies are going back to school next month. Yeah. Our babies are under so much, uh, so much peer pressure. Uh, uh, they are their minds have been open and, and open to things that they should know nothing about. Amen. Amen. And here, here's the here's the problem. And I want to get on the parents for a little bit. Um, the reason why your kid is so easily influenced is because you don't have enough influence on them. Here's the thing. That's not going to work for me. Amen. Because if we are going to be uh, uh, molding the next generation of leaders, that starts with us now. Right now. So, so, so we, we can't just walk around wearing anything. That's right. We can't just walk around saying anything. Right. We can't just walk around hanging with anybody. Whoa, say that now. Because our babies are watching, and that's just not going to work. It's not going to work, dog. No, no. But he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of sound mind. How do I know? It says in verse 5, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup running over. So, so let, me, let, me, let, me, uh, let me dive into this whole you anoint my head with oil. So a, 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 a shepherd knows its flocks. Right. And a shepherd knows that when a, a specific uh, a rams in the group when they get a little too testosterone, uh -huh. uh -huh. when, when they see a, a sheep that they want to mate with, they start to exert their dominance to the other rams, and that causes a fight. Amen? Have you ever seen two rams try to fight each other? They back 
up with all their might. That's right. They put their head down and they run because they are trying to knock the other ram's block off. Uh -huh. Right off. Here's the thing. Because uh, our shepherd knows who his flock is, he says he anoints my head with oil. A great shepherd knows when it's that time for that ram to start acting out. And what he does is he pours an extra portion of olive oil on the head of the ram. Right. So that when the rams go head to head, instead of hitting each other, they slide right off. So because of his great name, Come on. he hasn't given us a spirit of fear. Amen. He's given us the, 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 it's a, a spirit of power and of love and of sound mind. All right. Anoints our head with oil because he restored us, right? So he already knows us. Even after we get our restoration, he knows that we're going to put ourselves in situations that we're going to harm ourselves. Amen? Amen? But he gets that oil and he anoints our head. So he says that even when you are going head to head and something that I told you not to get into, I'm going to make it slide, right? Now. So God is stepping in and said, I know you want to cause harm to yourself, but that's just not going to work, work for me. That's not going to work for me. He says, you prepare a table in front of me. You, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. How amazing is that? Has anybody ever been in a room with an enemy? When, when, when you're in a room, listen, listen, when you're in a room with the enemy, you, you're not eating nothing. You're not closing your eyes. You're not keeping your eyes off your enemy because you know that your enemy has certain plans of destruction for you. Yeah. Well, I come by to tell you that God said that that's not going to work for me because Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, I know the plans that I have for you. So, so you can stand in a room of your enemies and you can go ahead and help yourself to the table.
king. Because anything else, it's just not going to work.
I want to thank everybody for coming out and celebrating Youth Day with my kids. Amen. I want to thank Pastor First Lady, my mom especially, and most of all. <laughs> all right now. I want to thank Pastor John Owen. I told him I kind of threatened him out there in the hallway. I said, I'm going to need you to bring it. He brought it, dog. Shut it down. He shut it down. All he had to do was drop the mic and it would have been over <laughs> So I just want to thank everybody for coming out. And my mom has something for the kids that stuck through it all from the beginning. But I would like to especially all the youth of Greater My Era to stand up. These kids have been through COVID, they have been through food, they have been through all kinds of pressures, and they still show up. Not every Sunday, but they here. <laughs> Olivia, raise your hand. Daria, Ari, Elena, I'll be on the <laughs> Ari, Camille. Donnie, Jason, am I missing some more? Lola, Bella, Aubrey, our, our guests, our special guests, visitors. I just want to thank you all. As my daughter stated, the kids have been through a lot. We all know that we're still post-COVID. People are still not attending service like they should be. And in all churches, the attendance for adults are, is down. So you know attendance for the youth is down. But in preparation for our youth day, it seemed a little bleak. But we had three constants this whole year. And I believe in giving folks their flowers while they yet live, especially today when we may go to bed tonight and somebody may not wake up. So I love all the children, but we could have not done this youth day without these three young ladies. Yes. When I came up with Joshua 1-9 and those ladies get, opened themselves up to me and I seen the true leadership in them, I said, hey, we're gonna roll with that all year. Yes. So with that being said, can Zaria, yes. Olivia, and Elena come up? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Um, I 
just want to say on behalf of myself and my sister, I will sponsor these three young ladies for back to school, getting their hair braided either jumbo knotless or jumbo, what they call it, locks. Mm -hmm. So um, it will be Friday the 19th um, or either Friday the 19th or Saturday the 20th, but I'll sponsor these three if they get their hair done. But I just want to thank Sister Rosa because I'm going to tell y'all right now, without your elders, you are nothing. I just have to keep it real. And she reminded me, let the people know who the kids are. Yes. You know, I, it, thank God for you. Thank God for all of my leaders, my elders. I mean, you guys, we have to celebrate them because without them, we don't have kids to, to learn from. So thank you so much, Sister Russell. Last but not last but not least, we have something we want to give someone. But before I do that, let me tell y'all something. Sister Karen does not just sit in that office. No, right, not right. And do those announcements. She did not win Woman of the Year a couple of years for no reason. Sister Karen is the backbone to. She helped Marquetta so much. Even though Mar that's my girl. That's Marquetta's girl. <laughs> she just, she's always there. And I know, you know, they tell you this all the time, Sister Karen, but I mean, you are so appreciated. Amen. 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 I know God got all the glory. So thank you. God got all the glory, and I know your husband needs some sort because he got to on his knees thank God every day for such an angel like this. Thank you, man. But uh, so thank y'all for letting us talk. I'm a talker, so I'm going to hurry up and wrap it up. I'll talk all day long. But uh, listen, if y'all enjoy the singing today, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't think the singing was going to come off. I didn't think it was going to work. But let me tell you something. God created a musical genius in Sister Christy. She must have seen something. She had to have seen something that we couldn't see. It was a one moment. I could not believe it. Christy, it can't pay you. Because God already paid you. God already paid you for us. So when I called her, she said, I got to do that. I said, yeah, I got to. I said, yeah, for one reason, because your husband ain't going to let you say no. But she got up there, and thank you so much. It is that middle class that, that we need. I may not look it, but I'm up there. But it's, it's young ladies like my daughter and Drew. We need those gap fillers to bridge the gap with the youth and the older. So I, I ladies, please get involved. Amen. God bless you with the ministry, the voice of ministry. There's so many things in the church, and it's your age group that helps the grow. Devin, you always come in and do what you got to do because Chris is going to make you anyway. So we love you anyway. And for our guest, Minister Devin Cochran. Minister, when Chris Rollins told me that to contact you, this minister did not even flinch. He said, let me talk to Pastor Bill. Pastor Bill gave him the okay right away. I had already talked to my girlfriend, Rochelle, about you, so I already knew what you were capable of. But you tell Pastor Bill, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you, thank you. Come up, we can't pay you, but we do have a token of appreciation for you. This young man, I have seen him all around in all the Noam churches, and uh -huh. always wherever his pastor is. So when his pastor's alone, him to us, that's a blessing. I know my pastor will call your pastor. And he is a minister. I'm going to wrap it up because my daughter tells me to shut up. So thank you. That's all. Amen. Thank you. Come on.